So let's take a screenshot. So this is my design. Um, and I couldn't get quite the right colours because there's, there's quite a, a subtlety of, of colouring here. Um, so I have bought this Fimo Professional True Colours Pack. And it comes with these six colours, which are a bit akin to the colours you get in a printer uh, that mix up um, all the different colours for printing. So we've got True Green, True Blue, True Magenta, True Red, True Yellow and White, and you also need to buy a black. Um, and it comes with this colour chart inside and recipes for how you mix all these colours so you can get, I think it's 170 colours um, and hopefully with some consistency. So in the middle you've got yellow, red, magenta, blue, green. So let's take blue. So that's represented by a B. So B1 is nine blues and one green, and that's parts. And you can either do it by volume or you can do it by weight. Um, and then any, any of the colours you want to mix in this row, start with this B1. So you wanted to mix that, it's B1, 1B1 and 1B1 and 1 white. And if you want to mix this colour, it's 80B1 and 1 black, K is black. In this row, it's just B. So you start with blue, and to get this colour, it's 80B and 1 black, as opposed to 80B1, which is 9B and 1 green, 9 blue and 1 green. And to get this, it's 1 blue and 1 white. So hopefully you can see how it works. It, it looks confusing at first, but once you get your head around it, you're all right. Now it's a bit tricky matching the colours to my design. I've printed um, the shapes with the colours, and printed the design, but of course, as you know, the way um, colours print uh, can vary so much. And also on screen, it's great. I like the colours on screen. But how is that going to translate? So today's job is to mix up a few so I shall be mixing this one, this one, maybe this one, this one, this one, this one. And I'll put them all together, well I'll fire them, put them all together and make my final selections. And then I can do my ordering for uh, what is quite a big job. I actually have 3,700 pieces to make. Um, and in each um, hexagonal pattern repeat, I've marked up how many of each of these shapes I need. I need 12 of those because there's only one. Um, 11 of those. Oh no, sorry, that's not right. That's the number. Of, okay, I've written down somewhere else how many I need of each one. But I don't need to know that at this moment. Uh, so, um, yesterday I was quite eager to have a little go. Now I picked quite a difficult one to start with because I picked this colour to try and mix uh, which is this red. Now I say it's difficult and that's because it's 80 red and one white. Now for, for just mixing up a small sample I'm clearly not going to want to do one gram of black and 80 grams of red because there's only 85 grams in this pack. So I tried to do a quarter of a gram, 0.25, and then 20 of red. But my scales, they're digital and they don't go, but they don't go below a gram. So I just measured out a gram, cut it in half, cut it in half again. So that's how it's come out. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull off a bit of that. And it's not the best mix actually, you can still see a tiny swirl because I just mixed this by hand, I didn't get out my pasta machine. So I will put that here and I will write down 
the recipe, which is one black, so 1K ATR. So that's the first one. Um, now I'm going to do one black and 80 R1. So R1 is three red and two magenta. So. so I will do three grams of red. I don't know what that will look like. Ah, three grams. Brilliant. Um, so two grams is going to look a bit like this. Yes. Okay. So if I mix these together with, let's see, with one of black. Actually, I think I'll mix these two to leave me with a pure one of these because it'd be quite interesting to have that colour in its own, then I'll mix in the black. This should be uh, that. Not too bad. That is three red, two magenta. Now we're going to do this colour, which is eighty R one one K. Again, it's a tiny bit of black. So this is the same, really. I think I need a bit more black in it. Okay. That is a tiny bit. Okay, now I'm just going to add a tiny bit more black. To it. Mm, it's difficult to say what that is. <laughs> uh, that's the only red I've got to mix. And now I am just going to, where's my knife? Yes. I'm just going to do a bit of this. Um, this is a ready mixed burgundy, or what's it called? Bordeaux. It's old and it's gone horribly crumbly, so it'll take a little while to condition it. But I'm just going to, this could be the colour I need. Oh, look at that, it's hideous. These crumbly ones, they will come back in the end. A, a big mess while you're doing it. The next colour I'm going to mix are oh, this from this palette. And it starts with a B2, which is seven blue and three green.
Right, does that look right? Probably a bit more black in it. That's more like it. Okay, so I'm going to do it by volume. Those balls look about the same size. So that's one and one. Ooh, we've done this one. Now we're going to do this one, which is one green and one white.
So these are all cooked now and I have written the recipe on the back so I can move them. Um, so now I'm going to put together um, what I think will make a nice palette. So now I've done lots of combinations, haven't decided on anything, but I'm going to now take it over to the walls and see how these colours read next to the wall. Here are the two palettes that I've selected, um, tacked up against the wall. The one at the top uh, uh, is, is more blue and the one below is more green. Um, I just don't know which I prefer and I'm going to have to wait till the cutters arrive and I'm just going to have to make a few different ones and see which I prefer. Um, as for the, the, the system of mixing up your own colours, it's really good. I wouldn't say you always get a true match to the colour sheet, but what it's really good for is um, informing how you mix the colours yourself. So you you might know that within a certain spectrum you want magenta, blue and black and you can yourself alter the, the quantities um, and just do it by eye. Um, but as you know, I was mixing such tiny amounts that it could be the discrepancy uh, came, came in, in there. But um, yeah, as far as I could get today, I'm happy.